hello guys so in this video i will try to show you how to declutter a interior images uh, at first look this image may look very uh, very messed up but if you uh, think it uh, in a simpler way um, let's assume it's a wall so uh, you can see by just making a wall you just can remove everything so first i will remove uh, all the small edge stuff with a smart healing brush tool and few stuff may get very complicated to remove so and in that case uh, we will select the wall and make a new layer and by selecting every part of the wall uh, i will use a brush tool uh, to make a, make a new wall Keep in mind you should uh, keep the brush uh, uh, brush age to zero percent and opacity very low try to match uh, as much as possible with the previous wall As you can see, it uh, looks pretty good, but not 100% matched. So we'll work on it. Yeah, it looks way better now. And as you can see, it looks uh, very smooth. For that, uh, we will just give it a little bit of noise, and again, we will use uh, noise reduction. Um, that will make uh, the wall a little bit more realistic. While sampling the color, uh, you can use just eye to sample the color from the wall while using the brush tool. Okay, I will just fast forward uh, for the other wall. And don't forget to uh, make new layer for all work after making the wall uh, as you can see it's not uh, finished very well uh, I will make much layer from all the control alter E it will make a new layer from the existing all layer and you can use a spot healing brush tool to match the color sometimes it's work amazing but uh, sometimes it may not work so in that case you can use patch tool it work amazingly uh, for uh, matching to surface I'll fix all the small details by using fast tool. Now I will focus on the window side. So as it's uh, pretty similar, I will just use uh, select and use uh, the clone stump tool for the downside. And I'll make a, a duplicate sample from window upper side for the window base side. Now for the floor siding, need to select the floor side as we have pretty good amount of sample um, I can use from here uh, with the clone stump tool. But uh, if you don't have good amount of sample, just uh, search the, this object name and you can use that option. Maybe it's called baseboard, but I'm not sure. Okay, as you can see, there are some uh, small black spot. So for that, I'll use uh, regular brush. 
to make it a little bit even uh, it looks way better now let's do the other stuff for the right and left side i will take a sample and use it for that it may um, may seem pretty complicated but uh, with the control <coughs> and adjusting every side uh, it can look pretty good and the way i am uh, controlling it by control t which, uh, which is a uh, transform So after that, you can uh, you can just move every part of it by using control by pressing the control. Okay, I will do similar for the left side. Okay, it looks pretty good, and I'll just fill up the gap by using clone stump tool. Okay, let's start working on the floor. For that we have to select the floor first be careful for it and by using clone stamp tool we can patch a pretty good amount of real estate here But if the angle is uh, complicated, then uh, this uh, method may not work fully. For that, we have to use another method. Just go to go to filter and vanishing point. Of course, you have to create a new layer for that. And in vanishing point, uh, you have to select the angle. and adjust it accordingly and with the same clone stem tool here uh, we can copy paste uh, all the stuff with the break it you can change the <coughs> clone stem tool brush size here i need to expand it a little bit more and i'll do the same as you can see it's uh, adjusting the angle automatically just press ok and voila your work is done let's say previous method didn't work for you and you don't have an app real estate to clone and paste so for that just search a, a seamless wood floor paste it on the photoshop after that select the wood and from Edit, um, make it a define as a after that uh, come to the real image and make a copy of the floor after that make a solid color layer a little bit bigger than the <coughs> floor and then from a uh, pattern overlay just um, select that wood we have made and make the layer convert as a smart object and by pressing ctrl t adjust it as the adjust the angle accordingly by pressing ctrl you can uh, move all the corner freely After adjusting the angle, just uh, make it uh, mask by pressing Ctrl and Enter. And adjust the brightness. Here we go. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you have liked it. And thank you.